As we reported earlier this week, the outrage over Ground Zero in New York is intensifying. Nearly eight years after the 9-11 attacks, the rebuilding effort continues to be a debacle. The Freedom Tower plan has engineering issues and economic problems. The subterranean memorial that's part of the plan has been roundly criticized. And most 9-11 families, firefighters, and police unions say they detest the way this entire project has been handled. These groups have long argued that the only surefire way to rebuild and recover and reclaim America's spirit is to rebuild the Twin Towers the terrorists knocked down. Build those Twin Towers taller, stronger, and safer. They point to this model, some sophisticated blueprints, and a viable financing plan. But New York officials refuse to consider any alternative to the Freedom Tower. So the 9-11 families now want President Obama to get involved. Joining us from New York is Jim Riches, a retired chief for the FDNY. His son was also a firefighter and died on 9-11. Maureen Santora also lost her son. And Lieutenant Jim McCaffrey of the FDNY lost his brother-in-law. He's also the co-chairman of the Advocates for a 9-11 Fallen Heroes Memorial. Uh, Jim Riches, let's start with the first some background. You met with President Obama in February to talk about Gitmo. Mr. Obama apparently said you have an open line to him. Is that correct? Yeah, they have kept us up in form. We've had an open line with the White House, and they told us what they're doing with the terrorists. And, uh, you know, we agree with it, and we hopefully he'll, he'll move forward and prosecute them. Now, on the issue of Ground Zero, Maureen, the president and his staff uh, do tend to watch the show. You have a direct line to him now. As far as Ground Zero, the debacle there, what do you want the president to do? What I really would like President Obama to do is to come and physically visit the site and to take a look at the, uh, the proposed uh, Twin Towers and to look at the uh, tower number, uh, building number seven, which has been up for several years. I think if he comes and physically views what is, he will be very disappointed at the fact that we are not further along, that uh, families have not been involved, families have not been included, in any of the planning, although we have attended every single meeting that was offered, and I would like the president to come and see this for himself. Lieutenant McCaffrey, what's the uh, symbolism of uh, rebuilding the Twin Towers, and why should the president uh, get involved in that? Uh, I, I think the president should get involved because this is, after all, America's memorial. Uh, not just New York City was attacked that day, not just Washington, D.C., not just... Uh, Pennsylvania. Uh, this is America's a memorial. The United States of America was attacked. So it's, it's, uh, it's, it, it certainly makes sense for, to have the President of the United States uh, become involved in a process that has languished for far too long, uh, far too many mistakes have been involved, and we would welcome his input. And just today, there was yet another uh, sort of outrage, I guess. Uh, they have now officially, the Port Authority is no longer calling this plan the Freedom Tower. They're going to call it World Trade Center. Uh, Jim Riches, I thought the only World Trade Center in the, in the minds of Americans were the Twin Towers. Yeah, this is another example of the arrogance and the audacity of the uh, Port Authority. They think they own that land down there. They've taken nobody into consideration since day one. They have immunity from the building the fire codes and the... And the and they just do whatever they want. The uh, exits in that, in that memorial are not safe. There's a 700-yard run over to get out and then a seven-story climb. This is a disaster. It's going to be visited by the most people in the world. We have b bus garages underneath the Freedom Tower, or the One World Trade Center, as they call it, which was advised against in 1993. They're doing it again. We need somebody to step in and take charge here and use some common sense. People that were closing firehouses, we have no money around the world, yet we're going to spend $40 million a year to maintain this museum. It's, it's an inappropriate not, not call for it this time. Do something simple and nice that the families would like. And finally, Maureen, as far as the Alfred Tower itself, are you sure that your son would have wanted the Twin Towers rebuilt? Well, I, I can tell you unequivocally that my son, Christopher, would have wanted both of these towers to be rebuilt to show the world and to show America that although we were hit hard, that we are resilient, we have come back again, and we are stronger than ever. And he would absolutely want the two buildings to be put back. Maureen Santora, Jim Riches. Lieutenant Jim McCaffrey, uh, thank you so much. We will now uh, follow up with the White House over the next 24 hours and see what the response is to uh, your appeal that President Obama get directly involved in this mess. And thank you so much for coming on. We thank appreciate you very it. Much. Thank you very much for having us. Let's thank bring you. in our panel uh, real quickly. Chris Cofinas is a Democratic strategist and Tucker Bounds is a Republican strategist, but this is not a, a political issue. Uh, first, uh, Tucker, the risks and the rewards of any politician getting involved in this. Well, you know, you look back at this chapter from the very time of the crisis now uh, here 
here we are years later. And, and this memorial has been, time after time, there have been uh, political disputes and differences between the families and the city and the Port Authority. It's a political bees nest, but this is a president that has shirked politics as usual. And I think it's an opportunity for him to show real leadership and live up to some of the campaign promises that we all heard uh, as he won his presidency. So I, w- I would expect to see him do something here. Chris, how difficult would it be for the president to look at these 9-11 families who want the Twin Towers back and say, you know what, the terrorists knocked down these buildings for a reason. We're not going to give in. It's been a mistake the last eight years with this Freedom Tower thing. We're going to rebuild the Twin Towers. There's a plan to make them stronger, safer. We're America. We're going to bounce back. How difficult would that be for the president? I think it'd be pretty difficult. I mean, there's so much emotion. You just saw it in, in, in those uh, families' eyes and their voices. There's a lot of emotion involved in this issue, and rightfully so. There's so many local, state, and political forces involved. Uh, you know, I think it, it is a tragedy that we haven't moved forward and, and, and we haven't moved faster to, to build a memorial and build the structures the way they should be built. But, you know, for the president to get involved right now, I think that's difficult. You know, I, but, I get, you know, that's a call for the White House. Chris Gafinis and Tucker Bounds are sticking around. It's such, a, such an unbelievable issue and fraught with so many emotions and uh, certainly some politics. And uh, we're going to stay on.